location. So what do I mean? You can share with someone that you want to know your location. For example, Jim and I have our location shared with each other all the time. So I know exactly where he is at any time. That image on the slide there shows his little face out in the ocean. And that's accurate. I was scuba diving. <laughs> he, was, he was scuba diving. And I could see when he got back on land and when he started home. So I knew exactly how much time I had before I had to kick my boyfriend out. Right? <laughs> but you can use it for temporary sharing also. We were visiting a friend in North Carolina and, you know, we said, we'll get there tomorrow sometime. And what do you normally have to do? You have to keep calling or texting, say, well, we should be there sometime this afternoon. Oh, we should be there at two o'clock. No, all you have to do is share your location temporarily. And then they can just open their Google Maps, see your little face and know exactly when you're going to get there and be out in the driveway to greet you. I just want to show you, that's Google Maps then. And on the phone, you tap on the your little face. I call that the account button because this tells you what account is signed in to your phone. My account and location sharing. And it says, I am sharing with Chloe. She's not sharing with me. I am sharing with Jim and he is sharing with me. If I want to share with a new person, I just tap the little person in a plus. I pick the person, let's say my friend Melinda, and I share my location. How long do I want to share my location? For an hour, two hours, three hours, or indefinitely until I turn it off. As soon as I tap share, Melinda will get a notification, you know, if she notices on her phone and my little face will be on her Google Maps. Now on the, and that's, that's Android and Google Maps. On the iPhone, if you have an iPhone, it's the same way with Google Maps, but the iPhone also has find my. So if if you have Google Maps on your iPhone, same same thing. You tap the account button and location sharing and it's just like I showed you on the Android. But you might be more accustomed to using Apple's apps, the one called Find My. It used to be called Find My Friends. But there was also Find My Phone. They decided to put that all under one app called Find My. And here I still see Jim. And here's my friend who is an Apple person only. I can see that she is home in, in Northern Florida. But I can also see devices and items and me. I like that. So devices means find my phone. I have several iPhones, an Apple Watch, an iPad, and it tell it will tell me exactly where they are. Under items, that means we have an Apple Air Tag, just those little those little round pucks that we throw in our suitcases so we can track our suitcases when we travel. And that's what items are. And then, now I think this one is just so useful, right? Me. Find myself. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I anyway? <laughs> I've been trying to find myself for 70 years. All I have to do is ask my phone. Find me. All right. So that's sharing location.